in the home, accidents happen when you least mm. expect it, especially if you have kids and pets. So if you have some carpeting in your house that could use a patch or two because of one of those accidents, <laughs> it's actually easier and cheaper than you might think. Handyman Dave Schmicky met up with one crazy carpet man who really knows his stuff. Well, we're here to talk about carpets again, ladies and gentlemen, and joining me is the same lunatic who a few weeks ago convinced me to pour paint on my own home carpet. This is George with Checkmate. What are we going to be talking about today? Fire! So Fire. I'm really looking Fire. forward to this. We're going to do some different patches um, that people have around the house, but then you're going to blowtorch this carpet. To simulate what happens when you have a log or an ember roll out of your fireplace, yeah. Let's light something on fire, buddy. Let's do it, man. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, now, uh, I think we need a patch. This is our burn. Wow. And this is our new insert. And we're going to insert this in there. We should have a perfect match. And all of the things that I'm going to be using right now, you can get down at your local hardware store. So I'm going to actually get this set up with seam tape first. And there's an orange line, and you want to have that right in the middle where your seam's going to be. And I'll probably go ahead and start with one seam at a time. That would probably be the way to go. This is called a seam iron. You want to set that at 250. If you, hit, if you have it any higher than 250, you're actually going to melt your carpet. I want to dare you. I dare you to find where this patch is. Because I am sitting, you know, a foot and a half away from it. I can't see it. George, just, this is amazing. It's important to keep any extra carpet whenever you buy carpet and keep an extra piece in the garage. If you have a party and, you know, somebody puts a cigarette on your carpet, well, I'm going to show you a really simple way to fix that. Okay, let's do it. All right. Okay, what you want to do is you want to grab your donor piece and you just cut yourself a little tiny square, just like so. It's going to fit right in there. Then, cut your little piece out. Take a glue gun. Squirt a drop of glue in there. Take your little piece that we just cut out. Shove it down in there. If you don't have a star roller, you can just use your hand. Wow, that was quick. Look at that. That was really simple. Well, George, again, you've shown us some fantastic stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet, man. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, anytime you can involve fire in a story, yeah. it, it's a good thing. I knew you'd love it. And your producer. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slick how they do those patches, and you can see Dave's eyes twinkle mm -hmm. with that blowtorch, huh? <laughs> you know, this is also a good time of year to have your carpets cleaned. In fact, the big carpet companies recommend you clean your carpets every six months. In some cases, if you don't, the factory warranty on your carpet oh, actually really? becomes void. Mm. That's kind of scary. Well, you know, dirt, buildup of dirt is the thing that will wear out a carpet the most. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. 